Hello, my name's Ray Michelina with the TJ Snow Company. Today we're going to talk about force gauges, the different types of force gauges and how important they are for your resistance welding operation. We're going to start out with our digital type of force gauge. The first thing we want to do though with our welder is make sure that it is in no weld. I always tell people that if you're holding the force gauge it's your responsibility to tell if the machine is in no weld. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my controller to make sure that my machine is in no weld. And so I've looked and I've confirmed here on the pendant that it is in no weld but I always like making a last minute check to make sure that it is going to be in no weld. So I'm going to actually operate the machine tip to tip to make sure I don't hear the transformer firing. And we didn't fire the transformer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our force gauge, we're going to start out with our digital one, and we do have to turn on our digital force gauge. We let it go through its booting process. I've got a 5,000 pound digital force gauge here. They do come in different increments. If you need one lower that we uh, also have those also. So it did come up and I'm ready to try out to see how much force that we are putting on our electrodes. So I'm gonna put my load cell in between my electrodes. I'm going to make sure my hands are out of the way for safety. I'm going to come down on to my force gauge just like if it was going to weld. And you can see that we are showing that we do have a force setting here. This force gauge allows you to hold the force that was last read so that I'll be able to read what it was. We do have other types here. We do have analog type and you can see we have different weight classes, different size heads on them if you want. They do swivel, they can be longer, shorter, so there's a lot of different configurations that we have for our force gauges. So I'm going to take my first one. This is a 5,000 pound analog type force gauge. One thing you're going to notice on here is you're going to notice this green arc. This green arc is where it's actually certified for that weight within that range. It'll read outside of that scale, but that's its certified range in the green arc. The other thing you're going to notice is we have this movable red arrow. That's actually to go up and stay in position so that you know what force that the needle moved to. So we've got this smaller one here. This is a 2,000 pound. It's less weight rating, but it's also a smaller head if you have to get in to a particular area. You'll notice on these two force gauges, we have two different buttons. We've got a steel button here and a plastic button on this smaller one. The plastic button's actually there to help prevent you from welding through the load cell. So on my 5,000 pound, I'm going to move this red arrow so it touches my black needle. And I'm going to go ahead and do just like we did before. Put it in between my electrodes, make sure my hands are out of the way. Bring the electrodes down on it. And so it will move that red needle up to what the force was that was on our electrodes. So we can see that the force moved up into our green arc here. And what I like to do is I like to take three readings just to make sure that I hit in the same spot to see what actually the average force was for those different readings. I'll move my arrow back down to the needle again. and see what force it comes up. It came up to the last one that we had. So for my third one, I'm going to repeat that. And you can actually see here, this one was a little bit higher, and that's probably where I hit down on my load cell here. 
So we want to see what force that we have out here at our electrodes. Force is one of our main ingredients that we have for a resistance welding nugget. We have force, current, time. That's the ingredients that goes into making that nugget. So it's important we know what the force is out here at the electrodes. We can take a measurement on our cylinder and we can do a calculation to see what the force would be out of this cylinder. But just like on this welder, this is a press type welder, we've got a lot of material here in head weight. Head weight is the stuff that's hanging off of this cylinder here. So that's in addition to what the force that will be out of the cylinder. So we need to know what all this is going to add up when we are doing our force calculations for our resistance welding nugget. One of the things that I do like about our digital force gauge is that it will hold that value and it is certified from zero up to whatever le level it is. This is a 5,000 pound gauge, so it's accurate between zero and 5,000 pounds. It doesn't have a range like we've seen on the analog. One of the things I do like about an analog type of force gauge is it transmits the same gyrations that's going on in your system here, in your force system. If your cylinder, the piston inside is starting to stick because you're not having the proper lubrication and that seal inside that cylinder starting to stick, it's gonna come down in a jerky fashion. I'm gonna see that in this needle because that needle is gonna show that jerky action also. I will not be able to notice that in the digital force gauge. So this analog force gauge has a lot of good values when it comes to troubleshooting problems with your force system. If we have problems with our pressure regulator, we're going to notice that in this analog gauge also, where the force is going to change during our normal operation. And that's usually indicated by our pressure regulator not holding a steady amount of air to our air cylinder. So force gauges, one of our major components that we need to have when we're troubleshooting or even setting up our welders. It's one of our ingredients. We need to know what the force is at the electrodes. So if you have any questions about force gauges or use of the force gauges or how it's a component of our nugget, one of our ingredients, give us a call here at TJ Snow. Look us up online, tjsnow.com.